a very strong first quarter. How would you summarize it? Uh, we've seen our production above the upper range of the guidance, uh, over 83,000. And we've seen our, actually for the first time in the history of the company, our operating costs go below $4. And of course, high production or higher production, low operating cost, that leads to very strong financial uh, results. So very, very solid the results and very pleased with the results. So Alex, you mentioned those uh, impressive record low production costs you have in Norway. How low can they go? Can they remain at these levels? It's a good question um, and in actual fact they're here to stay for two reasons. First of all, Edvard Grieg, it's a young uh, asset and it will continue to operate in low uh, operating cost environment. But more importantly, Jon Svedrup is coming on stream in 19 and that field will also operate in very low operating cost. It's a, it's a young facility, a new field. So actually when we're talking about uh, $4, we, I foresee this range plus or minus to stay for the next decade. So uh, for, it's a long-term uh, achievement so, and that's even more important than the record itself of the first quarter. So you have production growth ahead of you. Can you talk a little bit uh, more about how the production will develop over the coming years? Yes, <clears throat> the, today we, we just quadruple our, I mean just in the last three years we've quadrupled our production to the 80,000 plus level we are today and we see this production to stay this year and next year and then as the time, uh, at the time we on Sweater comes on stream in late 19, our production will exceed 130,000 so we will go to the next uh, production growth really for the company and that 130,000 will actually exceed 160,000 by the time phase two in 2022 of Jan Svedro will come on stream. And that really is what we refer to our do-nothing case. It doesn't take into account additional discoveries or successes in any appraisal uh, or existing discoveries. So there's, there's, there's the potential to further grow from this already phenomenal growth. And if I may ask you, what is your top priority right now? It actually is the, the do better than or do nothing case. As I said, uh, Edvard Gideon Svedrup, it's a given for me. And this tremendous growth, it's, it's something that it's going to take place. And uh, our, you know, our priority now is to organic growth to show that we can actually move our resources into reserves through the ongoing appraisal program. And we can actually have the ability to find more exploration and, and make new discoveries. And that will allow us to to do better than what I call the do-nothing case, and that is our priority.